Hello everyone, it's Katie with the Digital Tattoo Project. Today I'm here to teach you on how to use databases to find open access images, which are images that you can use in your own projects or build upon to create new works. We've all been there. You have a presentation due and you just want to snazzy up your PowerPoint with images or movie clips. Just like you have to properly cite your sources, you have to make sure that the images you use aren't copyrighted by other people or institutions. Copyright is a very tricky concept and it can be difficult to determine who holds the copyright for a certain image. The bases I'm about to show you will do all of the hard work for you. The first resource we will look at is Wikimedia Commons. Wikimedia Commons is a media file repository for the Wikimedia Foundation to store open access materials that can be used for its reference projects. All images, animations, and movies are free to use, edit, and distribute as long as they follow the terms set by the creator. This often means citing the creator's name and allowing others to build upon the work that you create. Now let's do a search for an open access images of wombats. A search for wombats on Wikimedia Commons takes us to the scientific name. So. I'll click on the species name and then that will take us to the resources and images they have of wombats. It's important to remember that each image or file on Wikimedia Commons has a licensing page. So simply scroll down from your initial image and then here you have what it's licensed under. So this is licensed under Creative Commons Share and Share Alike, which was the same license that our last Wombat image was licensed under. So it tells you what you're allowed to do, as well as who gives you permission. Our final resource is by far the most powerful, but it's also one that you have to be very cognizant when you're using. It's Google Advanced Search. Now to get here, you just type in your regular www.google.ca, but sure to do a forward slash advanced search to take you here instead of the regular Google search bar. Don't be intimidated by all of the empty search boxes. I, for example, have just typed in Harry Knows Wombat into the first search box. The important part is to scroll down to the bottom of the page where it says Usage Rights. Here you'll choose what license you're looking for. One, images that don't have a license, images that are free to use and share, images that are free to use and share even commercially, or perhaps the most open license, free to use, share, or modify even commercially. So let's just pick that and see what we get. Now of course you're interested in images of wombats, so click on the Images tab. Here we see all the images that come up under labeled for commercial use with modification. There aren't many images, but as you can see, they pull from sources that we've already looked at. For example, this one is from Wikimedia Commons, and this one is from Flickr. It's important to be careful when you use Google Advanced Search. For example, I typed Facebook into the search engine and then kept the free to use, share, or modify even commercially. Some of the results were probably fine, while other results, I am quite certain, were not created by the user who labeled them as Creative Commons. It just takes a little common sense when using this. If it looks like it wasn't made by the user, it probably wasn't. Now that I have shown you three different ways to find images which you can use in presentations or other projects, there is no longer a need to stick with freeclipart.com for fear of breaking copyright. With these search tools and a little common sense, you can find enough Creative Commons images to build your next website or creative project. If you need more information about Creative Commons or other types of digital image use, please check out the Publish section of digitaltattoo.ubc.ca. Thank you so much for watching.